Stop Windows Server High CPU Usage Close Unnecessary Windows and Apps To close all running apps and open windows, press the Command, Option, and Escape keys on your keyboard. When a Force Quit menu appears, select an item and click on Force Quit. Then, click on Force Quit again. Reduce the number of desktops. Open Mission Control. Take your mouse to the top bar and hover over a desktop you want to close. When an X button appears in the top left corner of the desktop, click on it to remove it. Enable Reduce Transparency. Click on the Apple logo. Then, click on System Preferences. From the menu, choose Accessibility. On the left sidebar, locate and select Display, then, in the Display tab, check the box next to Reduce Transparency. Disable Separate Spaces for Displays. Click on the Apple logo. Then, select System Preferences. Select Mission Control. Now, uncheck the box next to Displays have separate spaces. You can also try to disable automatically rearrange spaces based on most recent use. When done, restart your Mac for the changes to take place, and check if the CPU consumption by the Windows server is lower. Remove unnecessary login items. Click on the Apple logo. Select System Preferences. From the Preferences menu, click on Users and Groups, then on the left, select your account. Go to the Login Items tab. Choose an item and click on the minus button to remove the process. Restart your Mac. Restarting your Mac will close all running applications and processes. This step will reduce CPU usage drastically. Make sure to uncheck the box next to reopen Windows when logging back in. That way, when you log back in, you can start fresh. Update Apps and Mac OS To update apps, open the App Store. From the left sidebar, select Updates. At the top right corner, click on Update All. To update Mac OS, click on the Apple logo and go to System Preferences. Then, go to Software Update. Wait while the system searches for updates. If found any, update your Mac. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. Combo Cleaner also offers a disk cleaner that will help you clean out the junk accumulated on your Mac. A big files finder that will help you find files that take up the most space on your Mac. A duplicate file finder, which will easily find all duplicate files on local and external hard drives. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more and an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.